Hello world. Right, I'm going to do another little quick look at a chassis from my collection, which is an incomplete uh, crawler chassis that started his life as a custom solid axle monster truck that I wanted to build. And I just wanted to, to test around, so I bought some uh, inexpensive uh, clone parts from the Chinese internet. I have uh, something like the Wraith or uh, SXC10 transmission and basically two front axle uh, clones from Axial so I could have dual steering then I get those uh, boom racing links over there that are from the Wraith I believe and I have at the moment I have the a new bottom plate from the Wraith which is an aluminium plate. So originally I did it as a monster truck with two uh, big carbon fiber plates and then the body on top of it but the the Chinese parts just couldn't handle the big tires and uh, transmission so everything blew out and I just scrapped the project and then I had all these spare parts all the drivetrain and links and suspensions remaining so I decided to do a crawler with it to see and it works actually really well as a crawler those parts they are all the cheapy parts actually work well you know at slow speeds and they don't take that much abuse I'm running them with a short course tire on them which surprisingly worked pretty well last time I drove on the climbed on the rocks and sand around where I live when it was very very dry now I have no hope that they would do anything in the mud or on the wet but that's what I have on at the moment and then I have this cage which is a similar from the Chinese internet that uh, is from the Wraith and you see you can open the front to change the battery the battery is mounted over there I have uh, one of the ESC's that I sell from Surpass Hobby in the front which is doing his job pretty well I have a 550 can over there brushed uh, I forgot how many turns I think it's either 21 or 18 turns that I have in there and then I have those boom racings uh, shocks uh, I don't actually know what those are um, pretty inexpensive and then I got those Gutech from Hobby King a waterproof servo in the front and in the rear and so I'm running it dual steering constant dual steering with a slightly less turn at the back than in the in the front and what I'm I'm still yet to do on this is the bunny panel so buddy panel the interior I get from my Vatera twin hammer which is no longer a twin hammer and so I had the little driver seat and helmet and so that fitted pretty well inside I just zip tied to the cage and now I'm going to cut some Lexan and try to decide how I want to do the panel and what color I'm going to do. So I'm going to probably do something on the roof, a couple of panels on the side here, maybe something on the on the hood over there, most likely nothing in the back. And so that's about it for this car. It uh, works extremely well. You see the articulation is pretty good. Um, I'm yet to put some proper tires and especially you now the weather is really really wet in Hong Kong so I'm gonna have to go and get something for the the muddy time but this cage is is really nice the, the weight is pretty good for the car and overall I'd have to say that I was really disappointed when I got those uh, axial clone parts but I don't think they were at any point intended for what I, I was gonna do with them so as crawler parts those are actually a really good alternative and you don't need to break the bank and then they are all compatible with the axial parts so uh, those boom racing parts and this, the suspension I get from Asia Tees and then everything else I get from AliExpress uh, the cage I might have got it from the Chinese internet a tubo or something and uh, the servos are from Hobby King and yeah I'm running them on I'm running the car on 2S it's only a 60 amp ESC I have a run time of like an hour or something like that it's, it's pretty amazing it's a lot of fun it climbs really well and I guess it will climb even better when I get the proper tires on them. The, I'm running some uh, boom racing extensions over there. So the only issue is I have some aluminum 
wheels that I could put on them, but the I need to, to change the size of the bore inside. So that's it for this car. Uh, I'll do a new video once it is actually done with the proper tire and the bodywork finished, but I just wanted to show that one because I didn't show a lot of crawlers. And so now I did. All right, so that's it for today. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.